Jackie Fiselli. Bill Lewis. Will I, you marry me or not? Bill Lewis, I will marry you or not. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bill, how are you? Hey, get my permission. Sorry, but <laughs> Oh my God. At our how ages, are, we... You look fantastic. Thank you. Uh, Oh, May you? I have your permission to marry your daughter yes. or not? Yes. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Wait a while, Jack. i got to find out how many goats he's got and how many cows. Now, he's been in Kenya in the Peace Corps. Yeah. Right. I understand so he cows. Can, uh -huh. he, can, he can dicker with you. <laughs> how are you doing? Now, how many, how many cows do you think this woman is worth? A woman? Oh, my God. This one here? Yes, she can debate you, so that means you better have a hell of a lot of cows. Oh, a hell of a lot of cows. <laughs> I only have a heck of a lot of cows. <laughs> Darn. Darn. All right. <laughs> Uh-oh. Save your police. Jackie. Distinguished alumni citation recipient, Jacqueline Vaselli. Class of 1974, presented by Robert Spud Hannaford, Professor of Philosophy, and Victor and Carrie Palmer, Chair in Leadership and Values Emeritus, and Adjunct Professor of Philosophy, Jackie and Spud, please come forward. Distinguished Alumna Award. We at the college have had reason to expect great things from her, for we can recall many instances from her student days when she, although blind from birth, saw more quickly and clearly than her fellow students, although they were sighted and able. And I might add, the same holds true about her professors. <laughs> One wonders whether we know, now find a similar pattern in her achievements in her career as a professor of government. For what Jackie has seen and argued for in that career goes against the stand of influential, very influential political theorists against what some regard as their political wisdom, namely their view that we in America and in the West should take our own tradition as an exclusive source of insights about human rights and values, that we should attend single-mindedly to our own tradition in exploring those values. But Jackie argues to the contrary. Her recent work presents evidence from other cultures and traditions around the world showing that we share with them our central core values such as respect for individual dignity and human rights. She's currently at work on a reader comprised texts from those cultures which establish her point. She proposes that instead of excluding representatives of those cultures, we should enter into dialogue with them and learn from them. In doing so, we would find many sources of insight about fundamental human values. Thus, her professional work discloses important truths, truths that, not, that have not been as clearly seen 
by influential writers in her field. For this, she surely merits our highest regard. Let's give it to her. Woo-hoo, Jackie! very, very much. Dr. Hannaford, thank you for such kind words. Words. I didn't have the reputation for being speechless. <laughs> uh, my, one of my nicknames, uh, because I did study some Japanese in, in high school, and in, in Japanese, uh, the, a surname, Yamaguchi, means mountain mouth. <laughs> but it's impossible for me to find words to express what I'm feeling, to express my thanks. I look on this award as a challenge because my regard for you all at Lippin is such, I could not have earned this award. This is a challenge for me to try to live every day to attempt to earn it because my regard for you is, is such that I have no words. I want to thank, first of all, my father who is with me here and like my late mother who supported me and uh, backed me up in all of my studies and wanderings to Africa and all manner of other things and probably thought I was crazy half the time and never said it. <laughs> uh, I, I want to thank all of the faculty of Ripon College, Dr. Hannaford, Dr. Cope Caston, uh, all of my other instructors, all of the faculty who have continued to work with students at Ripon. I would like to thank President Massetti, the administration of Ripon. Uh, I would very much like to thank Tyler Lost and Amy Gerritsen and, and all of the colleagues who have made this such a wonderful event for all of us. Ripon is a unique place, a place where discourse is practiced in the most meaningful sense. I never met Socrates in this life, but I feel as if I might have. Uh, I, I feel as if the experience that I had uh, must be something like what it would have been like to sit there in the Agora in Athens and discuss all the great ethical, political, and epistemological questions and so on. Uh, I'm teaching in Minnesota. I love my students in Minnesota, but they're into the Minnesota quiet thing. <laughs> and I often wish that I could import some written students. I had the honor of coming back a few years uh, um, after I graduated and in invading one of Dr. Hannaford's classes and causing mayhem. And the students were the same. They, they wanted to discuss. They were curious. Uh, Ripon is a magical place. I would like to thank all my peers in the class of 74 and those right ahead of us and right behind us who were my companions in all of our searches and all of our foolishness and nah, things we're not going to talk about. We're just going to remember fondly. You saw me as a person. You accepted me for who I was and that was more precious than you probably will ever know. I really feel that I got a second birth at Ripon, that at Ripon 
uh, I found out the person that I wanted to be, and Ripon truly is my alma mater. Uh, it's, it's the place where we not only explored concepts and values and deep questions, but it's also a place where we had instructors and administrators and staff people and peers who lived those things who showed us by example what it is to be a good human being. And so Ripon really is my alma mater. I don't have any words to thank you for this honor. I will just try every day to continue as I've been trying to do to live out the values of Ripon College. Thank you so very, very much.